an injective function is a special kind of function that's going to map elements from its domain to a codomain in such a way that any element in the codomain has at most one preimage under f. Now, what that means in practice is that f preserves differences. And so we're going to define an injective function in the following way. We're going to say that f is injective if for any two elements x1 and x2 of its domain, it satisfies the following. If you rummage around the range of f and you find f of x1 equals f of x2, the only option is that actually x1 equals x2. Because if you didn't have x1 equals x2, you would have an image that would have two preimages, and that's not allowed by the definition. Every element of the codomain has at most one preimage, but cannot have two, of course, therefore. Now, there's an equivalent way of defining an injective function. It's called the contrapositive of this proposition, and it's to say that f is injective if for any two elements, x1 and x2 of its domain, it satisfies the following proposition which is that if you pick x1 and x2, two distinct elements of its domain, then necessarily you get f of x1 is different from f of x2. Because if f of x1 were equal to f of x2, you'd have the same problem. You'd have one image that has two preimages, and that's not allowed by the definition. So what does that look like if we want to draw a few arrow diagrams? Well, let's start with the case of an injective function. I could do the following. I could do x1 maps over, this is f of x1, keep it simple, x2 maps over, this is f of x2. Then here, f of x3. And so these three images each have exactly one preimage. Now, what about this guy? Well, nothing wrong there. That's an element of the codomain. And we say that each element of the codomain can have, at most, one preimage under f. This one just doesn't happen to have a preimage under f. So this satisfies the definition of an injective function. Now, let's draw an example of a function that would not be injective. So that's pretty easy. We just take. Maybe x1, map that over to f of x1, and then, well, we take x2, map it over to this, and then we'd also map over x3. In other words, we're going to have f of x2 is equal to f of x3. Well, that's not allowed, because we have an image that has two preimages, and so this function is not an injective function. Now, graphically, it turns out you can recognize an injective function pretty easily because it's going to satisfy the horizontal line test. In other words, it's similar to the vertical line test, which, of course, it has to satisfy because it's a function, but now we have the horizontal line test, which is that if you draw a horizontal line, it cannot intersect more than once with the graph of the function because then if it does intersect, you have a preimage but you don't want it to intersect more than once because that would mean you'd have more than one preimage for a given image. So you can see that if you slide this horizontal line up and down, you only ever intersect this graph once. So this is the graph of an injective function. On the other hand, if you go over to the right here, it's pretty straightforward to see that this function is going to satisfy the horizontal line test here, but completely fail it right here. In other words, here if you look, you have a certain image, f of x, and there are three pre-images. There are three values, x1, x2, and x3, that are distinct and give you the same image. And therefore, this cannot be the graph of an injective function. Thanks for watching this video. At Congress Academy, we create custom study guides so that you don't have to. Send us your syllabus and some old exams, and we'll put together lecture notes, practice problems with step-by-step -step solutions, and classic exam questions so that you don't waste your time. All you have to do is log in and focus on studying what matters most. And if you have questions, we're available to help. If you'd like to learn more about how Congress Academy can help you do well, check us out at congressacademy.com.
We look forward to helping you. See you there.